Hey there everyone, this is Sriram Karthik. So today we'll be learning about how to apply a cumulative patch, which is shortly known as CP, or a service pack, which is shortly known as SP for existing Informatica ADC instance. So let us begin with the process. So our today's agenda is going to be learning about how to apply CP or SP to existing EDC instance in the workstation. And apart from that, we will also learn how to revert or roll back to previous version that is after applying any CP or SP to the EDC instance. So let us begin with the main process. So the first step to install any CP or SP is to make sure that we log in into workstations where our EDC or ICA service is installed. And from there, we move to home directory and then navigate to TMP directory. This is the place where we usually want to download our CP or SP files. As an example, as you can see in the image, I have logged into workstation where I am going to download the particular CP or SP file. So as the first step mentions, we are going to download the CP or SP. To do so, we use wget command with the authenticated user and password credentials. And along with this, we give our CP or SP download link. And we start the downloading process. We need to make sure that the particular SP or CP that we are trying to download is in resonance with the existing EDC instance that we are trying to apply this on. And before we further move ahead to the uh, next steps of installing CP or SP, we need to make sure that uh, we shut down the EDC or IH services and then we shut down the entire domain on which the particular services are running. Because if we keep the domain up and try to install CP or SP, then particular CP or SP cannot be installed on the EDC instance that you want to apply this on. So make sure as a note that you shut down the domain. So after making sure that our domain is shut down and after ensuring that our download for SP and CP is successfully done, we try to decompress the SP or CP file. Usually when we download any CP or SP file, it is downloaded in the form of compressed file. Now, if the particular CP or SP is compressed once, that is tarred once, we can use the following command that is tar-xvf and then we can give SP or CP file name. And sometimes the particular uh, CP or SP which is downloaded is tarred twice and further is zipped as well. In such cases, if the particular file is zipped then to unzip it, we can use the following command that is unzip the name of the CP or SP compressed file. And then we further move ahead with untarring it using gunzip command, which is gunzip. And then we give CP or SP file name. Based on extensions, you need to make sure that you decompress the particular downloaded SP or CP correspondingly. So once we decompress the downloaded CP or SP files, uh, we get multiple files, but among this, to configure the installation of CP or SP, we use input.properties file. So as you can see in the particular image, we actually view this particular input.properties file. And among these, there are two parameters very crucial whose values need to be set. One is DEST underscore DIR parameter, and other one is rollback. In DEST underscore DIR parameter, we provide the home directory where our Informatica ADC instance is installed to which the particular CP or SP needs to be applied. And by default, the value of a rollback is set to zero. And this means the particular CP or SP needs to be installed. There is another value for rollback that is one, which we'll be talking about further in the presentation. After configuring uh, input.properties file, now we are ready to install a CP or SP to the EDC instance that is present on our workstation. To do so, we use the following command that is dot slash install dot sh executable the installation starts and it might take a bit of time based on the workstation performance and we will try to further see what are the next steps after this that we need to perform. So once the installation is done, we move to the following file path and there we have a file which is related to service pack which is installed. As I have highlighted in the particular image which is read as service pack history.info, we make sure that we view this particular file. And uh, when we try to view this, we get the following image as I have shown to you. And apparently, as you can see for the particular service pack, in this particular example, I have uh, installed service pack 3 to 10.4.1 EDC instance, and the particular entry has been made. 
So based on requirements, sometimes you would like to revert back to the version of EDC instance that is before applying the respective CP or SP. To do so, we use input.properties file and in this we set the rollback parameter to 1 and then we run the command dot slash install dot sh as previously we did similar to installation process of CP and SP. Once we try to do this, uh, the particular prompt appears that is similar to installation process and uh, you again have to wait until the particular EDC version is reverted back to its original version and uh, once it is done, you are back to your previous version as stated. So this is the presentation about uh, how to install the particular CP or SP to the existing ETC instance. The particular presentation will be forwarded to show the demo regarding how to apply the particular CP or SP concepts that we have learned in this presentation in life. So this is the demo to install the CP or SP that we have been discussed in the previous presentation. In the particular following example, I am using a EDC instance of 10.4.1. To this, I'm going to apply a service pack three. And uh, to save time, I have logged myself into the workstation where my EDC instance is already installed. And I have also made sure that I have shut down the domain because we know without shutting down the domain, CP or SP cannot be applied. So as I have mentioned in the presentation, initially we move to home directory where our EDC instance is present. And from there, we move to TMP directory. To save time, I have already downloaded the service pack three, which is this, and I have untarred it as well. Now we should configure the particular installation process for the particular service pack. To do so, we view the input.properties file. And as you can see in the DST underscore DIR, I have already mentioned the uh, home directory where my EDC instance is already installed. And if I move down to rollback, it is already set to zero. By default, it is always set to zero. Make sure the only change that you need to make here is you have to set DEST underscore DIR. I have already made the modification. Now I'll try to come out of this particular file. And once I'm out, I'll try to use the install.sh executable file and this will make sure that the particular service pack with the given configuration is installed to my machine. So let us begin. So as you can see, the installation has begun. We have to wait for a while until the particular service pack is applied to the existing ADC instance. So let us see. The installation of uh, SP3 has been done to EDC instance 10.4.1. Now to check whether the particular entry has been made, we try to navigate to serv uh, service pack history.info. To do so, we first move to our home directory and then we try to move where our Informatica EDC instance is present. And once we are here, we try to move to the directory called server and within that we move to bin. And if you try to ls, you can see there are multiple files, but among these, there is this file, which is service pack history.info. We try to view this. And if you observe uh, the entry of 10.4.1.3 has been made and service pack has been applied. And if you see uh, in the symptoms, it is shown 10.4.1 service pack three. So the entry for the particular uh, installation of service pack three has been made. We will try to revert back to the EDC version that was present before the installation of this particular service pack 3. To do so, first we again move back to TMP directory where our uh, service pack has been downloaded. And in this, we again try to op view the input.properties file. And in this, we try to set the rollback to 1, which implicates that we want to revert the particular EDC version back to its original state. So I have set this to one and now I'll try to uh, come out of this. And again, then we'll run the install.sh executable and the rollback process begins. We have to wait for a while and let us wait and see how it rollbacks. So as you can see, the particular rollback has been successfully applied and we are back to the EDC version that we had before applying the service pack three. 
so this is about how to apply cp and sp and then how to roll back to the previous version i hope you found this particular tutorial and demo useful thank you so that was the demo regarding how to apply cp or sp and i hope you found it useful we would love to hear from you in the following two websites as mentioned here regarding your responses or any doubts that you have so this was the presentation about how to apply cp and uh, sp to your existing adc instance i hope this presentation and the demo together were quite useful for you to understand how the steps are followed thank you so much